in this video we will discuss about hash function and digital signature what is hash function as well as what is digital signature are the testing concept covered in this video digital signature is created in two steps first step is to create the hash of the message in second stage once this hash is created you need to encrypt the same please note hash is also known as message digest so step 1 creating hash value that is the message digest of any given message let us take one example i do have a message meeting at 8 am so how do i create hash this is the hash of this particular message meeting at 8 am 4526 d e e e now there are different softwares available for converting mass message into hash step 2 you take this hash that is arrived from the above message with the use of any software and then encrypt this message encryption is the process of making particular thing unreadable so first you create the hash and then make it unreadable in simple form this is the digital signature now question arises which key is to be used for creation of digital signature so for creating digital signature we need to use sender's private key this is the key that is available only with the sender and hence it provides the authentication or integrity of the message digital signature is validated by use of sender's public key if someone wants to validate this digital signature they can use corresponding public key of the sender to confirm the genuineness of digital signature this process is known as encryption and validation is also known as decryption let us discuss how hash value is being calculated from a given message different software are available for doing so and various algorithms are used so for example if my message is meeting at 8 am i do get a particular hash as can be seen over here now if i change a slight word in the message i do get i do get different hash as can be seen over here i did pm and earlier it was am so total hash value got changed hash value changes even with slightest change in the message thus it helps in validating the integrity of the message let us understand this with an example so mr a want to send a message so what he will do he will write message and then he will also insert his digital signature as created this is very important from exam perspective digital signature ensures authentication integrity and non reputation however 
it will not support confidentiality. Let us discuss some practice questions. Hash function will address which of the concerns about electronic message. Message integrity. It will not support other options. Digital signature provides which of the following? Integrity, authentication and non-reputation. Please note, digital signature will not ensure confidentiality of the message, neither privacy of the message. Digital signature ensures that the sender cannot later deny generating and sending the message. This is known as non-reputation. Non-reputation is the assurance that someone cannot deny something. From our perspective, non-reputation refers to ability to ensure that a party to a communication cannot deny the authenticity of the message. Which of the following message service provides the strongest evidence that a specific action has been occurred? Again, non-reputation. Digital signatures require the Signature is something that should be unique and only available with the sender. So, digital signature should be created by use of sender's private key which is available only with the sender. Receiver can validate same by using the corresponding public key of the sender. Digital signature ensures that the sender cannot later deny the generating and sending the message. This is known as, we already discussed this, it's about non-reputation. Thanks for watching.